What's up Stealth Fam, in today's tutorial I'll walk you through how I process my voice for clean, professional audio using Audacity 2025. This works great for let's plays, commentary, podcasts, and really anything where clean vocals matter. Now, I'll include a link in the description for downloading Audacity if you don't already have it installed, but let's jump right on in. So I do have Audacity here, I'll click it, and like I mentioned, um, with a link, you want to make sure that your version is up to date. So there are two ways of doing that, either following it and just going according to the version number, or you can head to help over here, then choose check for updates. Currently, I actually updated it right before I started, started this tutorial, so I'm pretty much set over there. Make sure yours runs for any updates. It will ask to automatically close um, Audacity and another application. Click OK, and then after that, reopen Audacity to make sure that is set. We will click OK. Next, you want to head to uh, help again, then choose about audacity and just make sure that the version number also matches mine or is somewhat closer to it. Feel free to use any older versions as well too. Um, they will work as well, but some settings might be in different locations, but just so you don't get lost and that you both uh, you and I can follow along. Um, it will help just to make sure that the version is somewhat closer to it. And this is as of June 12th, 2025. So we will click OK. And you know, before we even touch on Audacity, there's a few uh, general quick tips I would recommend for clean audio, such as you know, just turning off any fans, any electronics that hum in the background. Make sure that your microphone, uh, make sure you adjust the settings on it as well too. If it has a knob where you can adjust the gain or just how much um, uh, background noise or how much voice um, can go in it, um, feel free to adjust that as well too. And make sure you record in a quiet space. If you have a closet, I'd recommend that. If you have a small room and you can add blankets to the walls, I'd recommend that as well to reduce echo. And if you have any foam setups, that definitely helps as well for soundproofing. Um, and also if you have any um, uh, pop filters, that also helps as well too. That's more for, I guess, the um, you know, any dialogue you put into the microphone rather than you know background noise. Um, but really feel free to just um, improve anything that you can as well too and experiment. Now, before we even record anything, I will give an FYI. We will record, record the first one to two seconds. You can do one to three seconds. I recommend that for any audio that you guys do plan on recording as well too. That blank space will be our noise profile and we'll pretty much use it to clean up our audio. The next step is we're gonna make sure that our playback and um, recording device is set as well too. You wanna head over to audio setup, then choose playback device and make sure that the playback device is set to your speakers. I have it set to my external speakers, which is my Bose speakers here. Make sure you have it set to that. If you have headphones, make sure it's also set and listed there. Feel free to adjust it in the sound settings in Windows. You wanna to head to the sounds and then pretty much adjust it here as well, or right click and then choose sounds. Then you wanna to head to recording and then just pretty much make sure that it's set to the default device for your microphone for under recording and the playback is set to your Bose speakers or my Bose speakers uh, or your normal speakers as the default device. Next, you'll click OK. And then pretty much from there, um, uh, I forgot to mention that you can also go to the audio settings and feel free to adjust the settings there. For the quality for the project sample rate, make sure that it matches your microphone. The, uh, the Blue Yetis is set to 48,000. You can go up to about 192,000. I have experimented with this in the past um, and even currently. I don't really notice too much of a difference. It does sound a little bit better, but you know, feel free to match the uh, Blue Yeti settings so that you don't run into um, any issues such as like crackling audio uh, as well too. I did notice that on my personal side as well after adjusting the gain and also increasing the sample rate. Um, so make sure it matches your microphone, but by default either set it to 48,000 or 44,100 as well. We will click OK. All right, so I believe now we can start off with our recording sample. If you are new to Audacity, you want to hit this little red button over here or hit R to start the recording. So let us start uh, now with our raw voice clip. Ice, ice, icicles, spec, spec, spectacles, test, 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 one, two. So, like I mentioned, we want to make sure that uh, the first one to two seconds is silent. This will be our noise, noise profile that we will select. And then the next thing we will do is we will select the first one to two seconds. So after you highlight these one to two seconds, you want to make sure you go to effect and then we choose noise removal and repair. 
this will pretty much be the start of where we start adjusting our uh, settings for the voice. Um, and also this will be the meat and potato. So make sure to take notes. I will include the steps in the description as well too. After you do noise removal and repair, choose noise reduction. From there, we want to choose get noise profile, which is this area here. Click get noise profile. And then from there, we want to select the entire thing. And this will be an optional thing. This one, I'll just do it for the sake of you guys hearing um, the before and after. I will control C and then uh, control uh, v this pretty much control uh, copy the entire track um, and then ca uh, add an, a version of it so that we can hear the playback and compare uh, later on so I hit control a or hit this blank area and then control C to copy it then hit control V or click this area here after unselecting this can then hit control V so that we have this here too uh, we're gonna mute this track you can either mute or solo mute to get rid of uh, mute this track here and then just listen to this one here or you can hit solo just so you can listen to this track. You can do the same thing here. But for now, we're going to keep this muted and work with this one. So as you know, we already had the noise profile set. Um, and the next step is that we're going to select this entire track. OK, next we'll hit effect, then go back to noise removal and repair the noise reduction. And then we're going to make sure that our entire track is selected. That's important. And make sure that the step two, that the noise reduction is set to six sensitivity set to four and frequency smoothing band is set to three. After that, we're gonna make sure the noise is set to reduce and then we will click okay. All right, so it's pretty much uh, selected all the noise or the background noise from that one to two seconds. So that uh, was our sample. Um, and then from there, we will head back to effect. After that, we will go down to EQ and filters. After that, you wanna choose high pass filter. From there, make sure your frequency is set to 100 and make sure roll off is set to six decibels. Click apply. All right, and then after that, we'll go back to effect. Then we're gonna choose the legacy compressor. So there is the volume and compressor. If you choose that one, the compre this these settings aren't bad as well too. Should pretty much match the legacy one, but just for simplicity's sake, um, and also using classic settings from older versions of Audacity, I will be using the legacy version. So once more, head back to effect, legacy and then legacy compressor. Make sure the settings match here. So for the threshold, make sure set to negative 18, noise floor, negative 40, ratio, four to one, attack time, 0 0.20 seconds, release time, one second, and make sure the makeup gain for zero decibels after compressing is set to check, and also make sure that the compress based on peaks is unchecked. We're gonna hit apply. All right, and then from there, we're gonna go back to effect. After that, we're gonna go back to EQ and filters. Then we're gonna choose filter curve EQ. All right, and so the next thing we'll do is head to presets and settings. We'll choose factory presets and make sure you choose bass boost. So when you choose bass boost, we're gonna make sure to hit apply, but make sure that your settings also match this as well too. Now, this is the important part. In case your voice sounds a little bit too flat or sounds a little bit too deep, um, the bass boost and treble boost, which I'll go into next, is where we really want to adjust adjust things um, in case you do notice that. But feel free to copy this setting or just make sure that it's set to this as the default. Then we will hit apply. Next, we'll go back, hit effect, EQ and filters, and then we'll choose filter curve EQ once more. Then we will choose presets and settings, factory presets, and then choose treble boost. From here, treble boost, it'll be this will be the default. Now, what I like to do, I like to keep this at the same height as well, too. But for the amount of decibels, I'm gonna reduce it. This one should be around right now set to like 4,000. I like to reduce mine down to right now it's set to 4,000 to about 5,000. I like to reduce mine just a little bit under 2,000, so maybe around like the 1800 to 1900s area. Make sure that this remains flat at zero decibels as well. After that we'll hit apply all right then the next step we're going to choose we're going to go back to effect and then we're going to uh, choose volume and compression from there we'll scroll down to normalize make sure these two settings are uh, are checked here for move dc offset and normalize peak amplitude to negative one decibels make sure a normalized stereo channels independently is unchecked click apply all right and then from there we're going to go back to effect then we will choose legacy. Then we will choose legacy limiter. Then from there, make sure it's set to hard limit. There are other settings. We want to leave ours on hard limit. 
For the input gains for both channels, make sure that's set to zero. For the limit, uh, we're going to make sure it's set to negative uh, four um, for that threshold. And then for the hold, we're going to leave it at 10. For apply makeup gain, we're going to set it up to Z to no. And then after that, we want to hit apply. All right. And then the pretty much the last step is going to be completely optional, but I still use it anyways. Um, just to make sure that we're more balanced, we're going to go and choose effect. And then we're going to choose volume and compression. And once again, normalize. And then make sure the same settings are pretty much the same for these as well, too. And then we will hit apply. All right. And so let's try and hear the difference now. Next, I'm going to hit this one. Actually, let me see which one should I play first, the old one or the new one? I think just so we can uh, hear what the old one sounded, because I don't think I hit the um, old one. We're going to unmute it. We're going to choose solo and then we're going to play from here. So we're just going to ignore the first uh, few seconds. That was our noise profile. And this is the raw audio clip we recorded. So this will be the before. This track up here will be the after. So let's listen. Ice, ice, icicles, spec, spec, spectacles, test, 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 one, two. All right, and let's listen to the processed version. So we'll unselect you, click solo, and start from here, starting now. Ice, ice, icicles, spec, spec, spectacles, test, 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 one, two. All right, and so pretty much, that's pretty much it. So as you can hear, the vocals sound much clearer, it sounds much crisp, and like I said, that bass and treble boost section for the filter EQ, um, filter curve EQ, feel free to adjust that accordingly. If it sounds too flat, if it sounds too deep, um, or if it tends to dip in and out, feel free to adjust that uh, graph over there based on your microphone and just based on your setup, really. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how I process my voice using Audacity 2025 for that clear, crisp sound. Now, let me know if this helped, and if you want a downloadable macro with all these settings, drop a comment and I'll make sure to pin it. I will also include, if you guys are up for it, if we can, uh, if you, if I do see a lot of people asking for it, I will show you how to do an automatic settings where all you'll really have to do is select that first few seconds that I mentioned, and then literally set up um, a macro uh, manager to pretty much do everything automatically with just doing one single click so you don't have to run through every single one of those steps quick heads up ladies and gents i actually forgot to show you guys how to export the audio in case you are new to audacity whether you're new to it or you're familiar with it let me just show you guys anyways so i do have the edited vocal track for the tutorial that i just presented to you guys right now here first we're gonna head to file then we'll choose export audio then we'll choose export to computer we'll make sure that the file name is set and correct we'll choose browse Select the folder that you want to set it and save to. Let me actually collect, correct the error here. And then we'll choose final and then hit save. Then from there, you want to make sure that the format is set to WAV or WAV. After that, make sure that the audio option is set to stereo. Make sure sample rate is 48,000. Encoding is 32-bit float. And make sure the export range is set to entire project to copy everything. And then pretty much from there, you can hit export. You can do this with multiple audio files as well too. Um, if you do have multiple files or multiple tracks, you can do multiple files and it'll pretty much export everything um, separately as well, along with their naming formats too. Hit export, it saves it there, we'll open up the folder and boom, we have it set and saved here. So ladies and gents, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. And if you want to see more, uh, please let me know and I'll be sure to deliver it. Until next time. Stealth out.